Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brandon, I'm designer slash gamer, and today we're playing Hoko Life. So I am actually headed to Mexico tomorrow to celebrate my birthday, so I'm trying to get some sun, <laughs> hence the tank top. So you won't see many videos. I may post a couple of videos uh, because I have a couple to edit, so I may post a couple of videos while I'm gone, but this is going to be pretty much the last video for the next five days or so. But I could not leave without getting another video to you guys because I did so much stuff. And I found the coolest thing in the catalog. Um, I did a lot of farming and I figured out, oh my gosh, you guys look. <gasps> no, my cherry blossoms are gone. I was so excited to show you guys my cherry blossoms <laughs> on my trees. But I think it's summer. It's the end of spring, so there's no longer any cherry blossoms. It looks really beautiful. I mean, they still look great. Don't get me wrong, they look really nice. Not having cherry blossoms, but they looked even better with those cherry blossoms. So just imagine these trees covered in beautiful pink blossoms. <laughs> they looked really nice. But at least when spring comes around next year, which, you know, I have, this is already my third spring, I think. Second or third, I don't know, but seasons go pretty fast. All right, so let's go to our farm. And I'm really hoping, you guys, I'm hoping our spring crops don't die at the end of spring, like Stardew Valley. I really hope they keep growing because I planted a lot of spring crops. And I learned, look at my beautiful crops. I learned the hard way after having a bunch of my crops die that if you attempt to plant, here, let me show you. You, you guys probably already know this. Hi, Aubrey. If you attempt to plant a summer or a, well, any season you're not in, if you attempt to plant one of those, they're gonna die. Even if you water them and whisper sweet nothings to them, they're still gonna die. So do not plant anything that's not supposed to be planted in the season that you're in. Um, yeah, so I went back and I planted a bunch of spring crops in the places of the ones that died. And so we've got broccoli, we've got strawberries, we have pineapples, we have Swiss chard, and it looks like we can harvest this. And also you guys, check this out. Isn't this amazing? So one of the incredibly talented people on the Hoko Life Discord server made this tiny home. I don't know how they were able to get these cherry blossoms in there like that. I would love to know how they did that. And it looks like there's even baskets of fruit inside the house. So that is super cool. You can download this. I'm going to put this code, this person's creator catalog code in the description of this video. If I forget, call me out in the comments and I'll be sure to put it in the comment section. But isn't this amazing? You can't actually go inside, which is okay, because how'd they get that door? handle on there. How'd they get the little swiggle? There's a lot of things they did in here that I want to know exactly how they did this because this is some wizardry, you guys. It's amazing. I love it. Beautiful, beautiful work. The people are doing, are making some incredible, incredible things. I knew, I knew people would be doing this and this is what got me so excited about this game was just the, the fact that we have the ability to build anything we can dream up, really. And on that note, I have some more things to show you guys. So every single week, wait, let me, let me get back to plants here for a second. So I went to talk to Oma in the inn and she had a quest for me. And this is exactly what I was hoping for. She had a quest for me to deliver, where is it? Where are my quests? Oma, deliver three bunches of strawberries. So if I can, can I harvest some strawberries? Not yet. Oh, I can harvest the pineapples. Cool. So you guys, you can sell. You can sell your vegetables and your fruits for a pretty good amount of money to Moss. So just make sure there's no quests for them before you sell them or save a few in case you have a quest. But go ahead and sell those because you can make some pretty good money doing that. Are any of my strawberries harvestable? I would love to be able to complete that quest for moss. No. Okay, wait, harvest. Oh, the broccoli. Oh, hey. Let's, can we harvest this one too? Yep. 
Neat. Okay. So I would love to get more planted here, but I'm going to wait until summertime because it is the end of spring and I don't really want to sow spring seeds because I don't know what's going to happen. Oh, we can harvest all this too. The rhubarb. So rhubarb has a bad rap, you guys. Rhubarb is actually quite delicious, especially if you eat it with strawberries. Harvest and harvest. So I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait three days or whatever it is until summertime because I'm really not sure. And if you know, let me know in the comment section. I'm really not sure what will happen to crops that are supposed to be grown in the spring. If they can continue growing, I'm not sure. I mean, I'm going to find out, but if you guys want to let me know in the comments, feel free. Okay. We're going to harvest the rest of these. Yay! And I got to remember to water these before the end of the day. I'm not going to do that right now, though, because I don't want to bore you guys <laughs> with watering. Hi, Aubrey. Aubrey. Hi. Good to see you, too, Aubrey. So here's what we're going to do. We are going to head over to the uh, the Redwood area because I want to show you guys the incredible things that people made for this last week's contest. I'm going to try to do this every single week, a showcase. Um, so every week there is a contest for a different theme for building items in Hoko Life. And this week the theme was... Um, like uh, fantasy, mythological type things. So people made all these cool... And look at the kitty cat. Let me zoom in. Look at the kitty cat. Isn't this adorable? So you can actually get all of these right now in your creator catalog if you go in. There's a snail. There's a kitty cat. There's a welcome sign that pretty much sticks to a tree if you position it just right. And then a cute little... I don't know, what is that? An above ground pond with flowers and mushrooms. I love it. It's beautiful. This, you can't tell right now, but this is a lamp. And at night, it glows. It's a crystal ball lamp. And then over here, we have a griffin, I think. Oh, a hippogriff. A hippogriff. <laughs> a beautiful hippogriff that, like, look at that. Look at that detail. I wish I could, oh, here we go. Let's see if I can get, a, oh, almost perfect screenshot there. <laughs> So much detail in that. That looks like that would have taken forever to make. I'm not sure which one won. I think it might have been this thing, the mythical beast. And you can't tell right now, but this thing actually has a light in its mouth and it shines down on this, <laughs> on this pile right here. So that's pretty cool. That looks like that would have been a lot of work to make the mythical beast. And there's also this really cool Loch Ness monster, Nessie. Uh, I tried putting it in water, but it didn't work because it, you can't really put it in water, but I might have been doing it wrong. So you guys give that a try and let me know if you're able to get it into some water. But it does kind of look like it's in a little bit of water here anyway, so that's cool. And there's one more, I think. Is there, or is that it? Maybe that's it. Yeah, that's it. So I will try to showcase every single week they do a, a new uh, theme. I will try to showcase all the items from the theme. And I'm going to be storing all those items too in a little box somewhere in a storage bin. So we'll try to collect as many items as we can. I can tell this game is going to be a collectathon. It's going to be all about collecting things. So there is, if you guys can help me out, you guys are all Hoko Life viewers. Somebody made an ice cream truck. And it is beautiful. It's so cool, like so much detail. And I don't know, I can't remember where I saw it or who made it. So see what you guys can do about that. See if you can figure out what the creator code is and let me know in the comment section because I could not find it, but it looks amazing. Um, if I can find a picture of it, then I'll put it up. But then again, if I can find the picture, I can probably find it. So anyway, if you guys see any cool stuff, be sure to share the creator codes in the comments of these videos. I would love to check out whatever you guys can find. Um, what else do I want to show you guys? You guys, I almost forgot. I put down... You probably saw them already. Those cool little pathways we made, those grids, the little stone grids that we made that alternate directions, I put them down in between my rows of crops and I think it looks really nice. So you guys tell me what you think. But I put those down right here in between the crops. Now, these require quite a bit of stone. Each, each piece or each object is uh, I think it's like eight slabs of stone so I have to go mining for a full day of mining I only get 12 of these 
So there are a lot of, they're an expensive commodity to make, but I really like the way they look. I think they look really natural here in the, in the vegetable slash, um, slash fruit garden here. I think they look really, really nice. And I like how you can see the grass coming through them. It just looks, looks like the grass is growing up through them. I would also really like to make a herringbone brick pattern. Ooh, should I do that today? I've been wanting to test out the new uh, path tool. I don't think that it's that different than making a small object. Hmm. I think we'll save that for next time. So there's a few new butterflies and I caught, I already caught them. I didn't save the screenshot, but there's a few, this marbled fritillary, frit fritillary. I had not caught one of those yet. Um, so that's cool. So there's new butterflies that show up in this part. I've noticed quite a few actually. A lot of butterflies will show up in this little farming area. So don't forget to uh, get these because you can make some pretty good money just wandering around collecting butterflies. Look at this, you guys. So you guys probably remember last time um, I showed off the the theme for the uh, for the weekly uh, design contest was natural or nature. And this little plant stand was in the contest and so I ordered it. Um, the cool thing about ordering this stuff from your catalog, you guys, you don't have to pay anything in resources or money. They're like totally free. So be sure that you guys, uh, be sure you download the stuff while you can from the catalog. Aubrey, hi Aubrey. So I have put a futon over here. <laughs> I hit a little futon in, uh, in the vegetable garden because I was like, you know what? Sometimes I just want to water and then go to sleep. And that's exactly what I've done. And it worked really well. I might even build like a little structure over that. I'm not sure, like a little place I can sleep in, like hidden over there. But you guys, the strawberries are ready to harvest. So we're going to grab three strawberries and we are going to take them to Moss and, or not Moss, uh, Oma. And we're going to complete this quest. Do I have three strawberries? Yes, I do. All right, let's grab four just in case just to be on the safe side. So I've noticed, and I don't know if this is for sure or not, but it looks like they don't have to be watered anymore once they're ready to harvest because they don't look all wilty today and I didn't water them yesterday. So don't quote me on that. I don't know if that's the case, but who knows? It could be the case. Let's go talk to Oma and complete this quest. I can't wait to see what happens. Maybe Oma will give me something cool. I don't really know what's going to happen or just thank me. I'm okay with that. But I'd rather have like a strawberry pie. So I really hope Oma gives me a strawberry pie. Just saying. <laughs> All right. Oops. Let's go into town. Oh, hi, Benny. How's it going, buddy? You painting something cool today? <laughs> All right. Here's the shop or the inn. Hi, Oma. Guess what? I brought you some strawberries. You're a star. Thank you for bringing me these. You're welcome. I'll get busy in the kitchen and hopefully add this recipe to my new menu. If it goes down well, I might be needing more of your help in the future. Okay. So you're going to have a new menu? I guess that's not going to happen yet. Maybe it's in the future. I know a lot of that is thanks. To oh yeah, sure. What do you say would take a up a notch? Okay, sure. What do you want now? Uh, I was thinking not that your supplies are substandard at all, but, well, there must be some way to make them grow even better. <gasps> what, like fertilizer? Why don't you speak to Aubrey to see what they suggest? Maybe they'll give you some tips that'll make things easier as well. What? Like, what, like a better watering can? Oh my gosh, okay, let's go talk to Aubrey. <laughs> oh, hi! Wait, is this... Hector. Hi, Hector! <laughs> Forgot his name for a second. I need to come back into my town more often. I'm forgetting my little villagers' names. Let's go talk to Aubrey. What did what did Oma mean? Oh, I really hope. Okay, we need to get some of his butterflies. I need money, you guys. Those crops are expensive. Um, I really hope that there's like a fertilizer, maybe, and also. Oh no! Hi. And maybe if we can get this one, maybe. Um, so I think I already have one of those in my inventory. Yeah. So maybe the water can can be bigger or better. I would love that because it does take a while. I don't have that many crops and it takes a little bit of time to water them all. Let's go talk to Aubrey. Aubrey. 
Hi, Aubrey. Hi. Hi there, Brandon. How are you getting on with your crops? Good, it just takes a while to water. I've been hearing good things from the villagers who've tasted them. Growing tips? Ah, uh, yes. I had a feeling you might be stopping by soon for some extra tips. I went ahead and stocked my shop with fertilizer. Yes! Just in case you wanted to try growing some extra special crops. All you need to do is use your bag of fertilizer on tiled soil before planting your crops. You have a much better chance of growing higher quality fruit and veg in fertilized soil. Cool. Yeah, fertilizers can make a big difference. Their effect doesn't last forever though. How long they last will depend on the quality of the fertilizer you're using. Oh, there's different qualities. I have a few different ones in stock if you want to give them a try. Okay, cool. Fertilizer, quality grow. I'd better make sure the, you better, I'd better make sure to water the crops today. They'll be getting crispy in the sun. Are you gonna water them for me? Is that what he's saying? Or is he telling me to? <laughs> Let's buy some fertilizer. Where is it? Or can I craft it? Do I craft it? I don't know if I craft it or if I buy it. I don't see it in this list though. I guess I craft it. Okay. Ooh, we should make some hay bales for fall. When fall comes around, we can make pumpkins and hay bales and decorate our town with Halloween stuff. Okay, cool. So um, I guess we'll, uh, do I have any seeds? Oh, I have tons of strawberry seeds. Ooh, they have to be, okay, I have to remember to plant those. Wait, can they go summer and? Oh, good, they're spring and summer, we're good. Okay, then I'm gonna go and see if I can figure out how to craft some fertilizer before we end the episode. Let, wait, I can check in my menu, can't I? Do I have to get the, oh, there it is. There it is. So I need weed clumps, okay. Okay, you guys, so for sure next time, we are going to craft some quality fertilizer and we're going to fertilize the ground before we plant before we plant anything in here okay guys that's going to do it for today hope you guys enjoyed this episode i'm headed out to mexico like i said tomorrow um, i do have some other content to post on my level up brandon channel so be sure to check that that channel out there's a link in the video description um yeah, I'll also be sharing all my adventures on Instagram, designer slash gamer Instagram and Twitter and probably also on Discord. So be sure to follow me there. Um, I've made a lot of improvements to my website. So be sure you check out my website, designer slash gamer dot com. Um, you can there's links to all of my video playlists there. There's some really cool merchandise that I like there and some other fun stuff. All right, guys, thank you so much for hanging out today. Hope you guys had a good time, enjoyed this episode. Let me know how your farming operations are going in Hoko Life, and I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys.